54. Ye have written us to the meetings of the friends, and how filled they are with peace and joy. Of course this is so, for wherever the spiritually minded are gathered together, there in his beauty reigneth Baha'u'llah. Thus it is certain that such reunions will yield boundless happiness and peace. Today it behoveth one and all to forego the mention of all else and to disregard all things. Let their speaking, let their inner state be summed up thus. Keep all my words of prayer and praise confined to one refrain. Make all my life but servitude to thee. That is, let them concentrate all their thoughts, all their words, on teaching the cause of God and spreading the faith of God and inspiring all to characterize themselves with the characteristics of God. On loving mankind, on being pure and holy in all things and spotless in their public and private life, on being upright and detached and fervent and a fire. All is to be yielded up, save only the remembrance of God. All is to be dispraised except His praise. Today, to this melody of the company on high, the world will leap and dance. Glory be to my Lord, the all-glorious. But know ye this, save for this song of God, no song will stir the world, and save for this nightingale cry of truth from the garden of God, no melody will lure away the heart. Whence cometh this singer who speaketh the Beloved's name? <laughs>